Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, a couple of Greek whites in front of me today. I uh, don't see too many Greek whites, uh, but um, the ones we normally see um, tend to be made from lovely grape called Assertico, but we haven't got those today. Uh, nor are they from Santorini, home of uh, a lot of Assertico. Uh, they're both mainland ones. First one I have uh, here is uh, Asprudi, that's the name of the grape variety, uh, from the Monimvasia winery uh, in the Peloponnese 2013 vintage. Let's give it a whirl. I have to say I can't get a lot jumping out of the glass at me when I stick my nose in there. It smells like it's going to have a cool, fresh, dry uh, character about it. If the fruit, the, any fruit that's there, maybe a little bit of um, just ripe pear, maybe a little bit of quince, something like that. It smells, it smells like I want to, want to have a drink of it. It doesn't smell like there's anything wrong with it, but um, just not a huge amount of aroma coming up. I'll give it another sniff and then I'll come back. When you come to taste it, there's a little bit more flesh that comes through, and it's things like uh, nectarine, and a bit more of that quince there. Uh, freshness going through all the way through the finish. Reminds me a little bit of, um, uh, of Jurançon without the acidity. Uh, so it's got those uh, slightly exotic, yeah, qu um, some of the, um, the, the Bordeaux-y flavours, the, the, that little edge of tin, tinned pear, a little bit of the herby fennel, uh, some light nectarine, but it hasn't got the... Um, hasn't got the bite of Jurançon. It's nice, and I like that. I like the, the way it finishes. It finishes with uh, freshness, uh, but maybe not the perkiness of, of something like Jurançon. But um, it leaves my mouth entertained. So I'm going to have another swig. Growing on me, that. I like that. Uh, next one is um, well, it's um, oh golly, uh, it's, it's in Greek script on the front. Um, let's see, Tetramythos. Um, I think that's the name of the winery. Oh, it's in English on the back. Tetramythos uh, from the Malagusia grape variety and we're in the Achaia region um, and this is 2014 so slightly younger wine and uh, when I think of Malagusia I think of it as maybe um, it's got it, some slight floral edges a bit Gewurzy like but uh, maybe not quite as exotic and blousy as Gewurz but anyway better smell it then. And maybe it's, I mean, Gewürztraminer, it, maybe it's not so much Gewürztraminer as, as Muscat. There's this fresh grapiness in there with a little bit of herb character. Um, some, um, yeah, again, some quince. Um, smells like it's going to be maybe fleshier uh, than the first one, but crisper. Mm. Oh, that's nice, perky, fresh stuff. Bit of a wake-up call. Um, the sort of wine that you imagine, um, if you think about the food that you uh, squeeze lemon onto, uh, so fish straight off a barbecue, sardines, something like that. It's got that crispness, got this lovely heady perfume grapey character. And yes, the flavours are quite weighty, uh, but this cr there's this crispness holding it, holding it all together. Uh, it's a wine I'd probably want to drink sooner rather than later, uh, because its charm is that the way the crispness holds it, holds it all together. So I imagine at uh, like two or three years old, it's starting to look a little bit more... Um, uh, relaxed and will have lost some of its uh, its charm, but as it is at the moment, uh, it's it's re looking really nice. Both of them looking really nice. I'm uh, I like them both. I'm not sure which should have a glass off first. Maybe a small glass of each of them. See you soon.